Hi friends, I'm glad you're watching. This is the fifth Sunday of Easter. It is also known as Mother's Day. I've invited Dr. Carol to come visit. Oh, here she is now. Hi, Dr. Carol. Good morning, Kim. How are you today? I'm trying to take my mask down. Here, let me help you. Oh, thank you very much. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Are you okay? I'm okay, too. That's wonderful. Well, a little child um, came into my office today. Yeah, I noticed you had a little Band-Aid on your hand there. Yes, the child had a bad cut, but the child did not need any stitches. But we will put an oily cream on it to keep it from getting infected. Oh, that's good. And boys and girls, remember to wash your hands often. It helps you to stay healthy. Well, thank you, doctor, for your good advice. Oh, sure. And know that this coronavirus will go away someday. For now, all you can do really is to take care of yourself and obey your parents. That's what God wants you to do. You will be much happier when you obey. Parents are God's helpers. Well, that's so true. Thank you, Dr. Carroll, for reminding us. And thanks for stopping by. Oh, why sure. I must be off to my patients now. Take care. Wash your hands. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Dr. Carroll. Thanks for coming. Those were good words from Dr. Carroll. God gives us doctors to help our body get well. Now let's read some great words out of God's book, the Bible. And we're going to sing our song this time. We forgot last Sunday, didn't we? We'll sing it today. Here we go. Let's make our Bible books. Ready? I open my Bible book and read, God loves me, God loves me. And this, what we're going to read out of our Bibles today, and you know, you can hold God's words close, you can touch his words, but most of all, listen to what he has to say to us now. This comes from 1 John chapter 2, verse 2. And it says, He, meaning Jesus, is the atoning, healing, sacrifice, the cost, for our sins. And not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. When you hurt yourself, like when you disobey, that's like hurting yourself. Jesus died on the cross so you could get all better. Our devotion I wrote for us today is called When Your Heart is Clean. And it goes like this. Jesus died on the cross to take all our sins away, but he did not stay dead. He rose again. Jesus is alive. Jesus came for all people. He loves everyone. Jesus is the only way that all people can have their sins taken away. When you hold, when you, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to hold soap up. This is a little bar of soap. So when you want to wash your hands clean, you use soap or maybe use a little pump soap and water. When you want your teeth clean, you have um, to use some toothpaste and water. We can get our bodies clean, but those things do not clean our hearts. We can see when our body needs cleaning because they look dirty. They even smell ooh, funny. When we disobey God, we know our hearts are dirty and need to be cleaned. Jesus is the only one who can clean the inside of our hearts. Ask him to forgive you the next time you disobey him. He will take your sins away and wash your heart clean. God loves you so much. 
When your heart is clean, you please him. And you will be able to share his love with others. Watch this. I got some hearts. You can share his love with others. Look, it never runs out. Share God's love with others. Good. And you will be filled with his peace and joy. Let's pray together. Fold your hands with me. Bow your head. Close your eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross and rising again to take all our sins away. Please forgive us when we disobey you. Wash our hearts clean so that we may please you in all that we do. Help us to share your love with others. We love you, dear Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Here are some very, very good words to read and remember. From Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 3, in God's book, the Bible. And this is what it says. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy a long life on earth. So you can read that over and over. That's a great promise and great words that God has given, us, given to us. Today, like every day, you can thank God for your mother. What makes her most happy is when you obey. If your mother lives with Jesus in heaven, you can still thank God for all she did for you with her love. Have a happy day and remember to obey. When your heart gets dirty from sin or disobeying, be sorry for your wrongs and ask Jesus to make your heart clean again. He will. He loves you the most. See you later.